Welcome back to Stooge Dream for another episode. I'm your host, The Stooge. This is the Impact Wrestling Recap. I'm always joined, joined by my Brandy Rhodes to my Cody Rhodes. It's G Banks. What's happening, y'all? So this week we had an interesting episode of Impact Wrestling mm. to cover. Yeah, you can put it that way. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, almost as interesting as what's been happening in the news throughout the Billy Corgan losing the court case, yeah. Billy Corgan maybe exercising his stock options, Billy Corgan maybe selling to Titan Sports, Billy Corgan may be doing a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. Practically, Billy Corgan is taking down TNA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like. Um, but we will discuss that in a separate special episode yeah. next week because I just want to see what happens with and the stock options. There's so much to first. cover. Like you know, if we talk about that, it'll go for another like 20, 30 minutes. minutes so, yeah. yeah, it's going to be its own thing, and we're going to bring out the, uh, the knockout Fiona as well and have a roundtable discussion yeah. about what we believe the future of Impact should be. Yeah. But until now and then, we have an episode to cover, so let's have a look at how it opened, and that was with Brandy Rhodes, Woo. talking about Cody Rhodes uh, not being at Impact. Yeah. Um, obviously, he was only there on a short-term deal, where yeah. she signed to the Knockouts division, so yeah. a little bit different. He was only there, for, apparently, for two months. Two months or yeah. something, yeah. yeah. Um, but if you want to know more about Cody Rhodes, go watch this week's WCPW that airs tomorrow. Yeah. Um Maria and Sienna come out and interrupt, tell Brandy to join their gang of evil witches. <laughs> uh, Brandy says no, and Sienna ends up ultimately beating her down. Yeah. It's like the Cinderella story. Three evil uh, stepsisters and the sweet uh, princess. We've got that with Ali as well. Yeah, like, we've yeah, kind of got actually, that twice now. Yeah, yeah. all right. I can, I, can, I can see that. I can live with that. Throughout the course of the show, we had vignettes on Eddie Edwards yeah. about his life, how he got into wrestling, yeah. his training with a Killer bit Kowalski. About Davey, uh, a bit about Davey Richards. Richards yeah. yeah. So there was a bit about him being in the tag team mm. and so on. It's basically the build up to the main event of him versus Lashley, yeah. uh, which JB made a much bigger deal of in the ring than kind of was made before tonight, <laughs> but that doesn't matter. Um yeah, so these ran throughout the whole show. Yeah. I'm not going to discuss them all in detail, but it was basically a nice little thing about Eddie's life and yeah. how he got injured and came back and was stronger than ever and so on. Yeah. Righty, righty, righty. Next up, Jesse versus Aaron Rex for the Grand Championship title. Jesse Goddard is a fan favorite in the yep. house. We love ourselves a bit of man. Yeah, we love the Mr. Pecky, yeah, as yeah. Shannon would call him. And uh, as he used to be called on Impact, Mr. Pectacular. Pectacular, yeah. Which is brilliant. Um, now, I've got one problem with this. Mm. The match wasn't bad. There was something bad about it. We'll discuss that when mm -hmm. we get to that. But we spent more time talking about the stupidest shit scoring system <sighs> and how broken and dumb it is yeah. than we did actually paying attention to the match. It's so distracting. Yeah, like... Uh literally yeah you watch the match and two three minutes after it you're just like i can't take this serious because i know the what the outcome's gonna be like yeah they're it, trying to present it as a serious match but yeah. all they give is nines and tens in the scoring it's just ri ridiculous yeah drop the scoring bullshit but yeah just, just start saying judge one gave it to so-and-so look, judge two gave it yeah, to so-and-so if you can't do it right obviously just drop it just don't do it at yeah because it's not working out like it's, yeah as you said they try to make it like a serious thing it's like yeah this is like you know, a whole different league, a whole and different, you know, s system of wrestling, blah, blah, And then we see all those nines and tens. Yeah, and it's like, wait, oh, well... It's know, almost like it's predetermined. It's like, yeah, wait, oh, wait. So Jesse Goddard's just smashed Aaron Rex, like, literally smashed him in this one round, but you knew he, he was going to get nines, because that's how broken the freaking score yeah. system is. So round two, right? This was retarded. Yeah. <laughs> Jesse literally got two roll-ups in the whole round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. But he won the round somehow, yeah. even though he got his ass beat for three minutes and 55 seconds. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make sense. Like the scoring system, just drop it. Yeah. Just drop it. Just give the rounds to the... You and know. you know what else doesn't make sense? You're trying to like legitimize this championship. And now you've had Aaron Rex win again with a knockout punch with obviously a ring or brass yeah. knucks or something yeah. taped under his hands. Which completely destroys yeah. <laughs> the whole air of it being legit. Yeah. yeah. The fuck? Oh, yeah, and there was no judges there, too. Yeah, like, the judges have just gone. Hot judges gone. Yeah. Like, oh, damn. That was the only thing that was interesting. Yeah, that's about the, only the, whole thing thing. I was, like, the only thing I was watching, the whole grand championship. Yeah. I like the idea. You just need to tighten it up and yeah. fix it, please. Like, it was actually, it yeah, it had a good concept. I actually liked it. it was like, yeah, okay, we were, this... go back and listen to when it launched. We were into the yeah, concept, yeah, yeah. but we have been whinging about the scoring system the whole time. Yeah. I'm losing interest in this. If they don't fix it, 
I don't want to see it anymore. Yeah, it's like pointless. It's like, wait, you tri- you got rid of the King of Mountain to bring this out, so but it's just as pointless. Yeah, like, yeah, it's dumb as, and I'm sick of it. Like, yeah. fix it or get rid of it. Get rid of it entirely. Mm, yeah. Waste of everyone's time. Uh, next up, we had an interesting promo that was basically a really awkward promo with DJ Z, <sighs> Braxton Sutter. And Mark Andrews, better known as Mandrews. What? The circle jerk? The circle jerk. Yeah, yeah. fuck. There was a point where, how did you put it? That DJZ was... Yeah, DJZ was practically freaking skiing between freaking Aunt Mandrews and Braxton Sutter. Because that's how much they were freaking just kissing each other's asses, man. It was ridiculous. At one point, I literally was just like going up to the studio. I was like... Man, if you can actually see him jerking off them two at in the, the back. same time. At the same time, because they could fucking just see going the motion, hard. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like someone's skiing, but then when you know what he's doing, yeah, it's like, <laughs> <sighs> um, yeah, that that was an awkward promo. It was very awkward and uncomfortable. And like, forced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very forced. Like even you could because see that they're all looking down and stuff. They're mm-hmm. like, "Man, I love you, and we're all good teammates." And because we're best friends, we're best friends. And why are you looking down on the floor the whole yeah. time? Like, okay, I didn't get it. Whatever. <laughs> I love just hanging out with you awkwardly looking at the roof. Yeah. Because it's bizarre. Are you going to finish off that ski job, man? Uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, my happy ending. Yeah, yeah. So that led to actually a match. <laughs> somehow. Yeah. Because they didn't mention anyone else but themselves. Yeah. Like, how did it lead to a match? Yeah, it was like, oh, by the way, here's a freaking triple threat tag team match for you guys. Yeah, but with we... everyone in the division because yeah, yeah, you've got yeah. no one else there. Yeah, oh no. So it was Marche Rocket, Trevor Lee, and Job Job, better known as Andrew Everett, Everett yeah. from at times, uh, versus Rockstar Spud with Decay, yeah. versus Braxton Stutter with Mandrews, Mark Andrews, and DJ Z. Yeah. So it was a triple th- uh, three-way dance, triple tag team, mm. three-man tag teams. Yes. Say that fast three times. Jesus Christ. <laughs> now, going into this, like, I made the comment straight away, like, this is going to be messy. This isn't going to work. I was wrong. Um, I thought this worked really well. It was quite yeah. controlled. Um, they controlled the spots. They made sure it didn't become too much of a mess. Uh, when people cheated, Decay got ejected from the thing. Yeah. So it was just Rockstar Spud by himself. And everyone kind of got little spots in. Everyone yeah. got over. Everyone got their, yeah. 15 minutes of fame, you would say. Yeah, yeah. Like, I kind of like this. Yeah, um, I liked, I enjoyed this match too, so. Yeah, I thought awesome. it, it worked cool, really well. For what it shouldn't have. Mm. When you have that many people, it's like, this is just going to be sloppy. Yeah. And but it worked, and I enjoyed it, and I thought it was actually match of the night. Oh, well. Okay. I'm going to have to call it. That's my personal. Uh, I know you may have a different. Yeah. But I, I'm honestly. No, no, it's definitely up there. I'm not yeah. disagreeing with you, but uh, okay. I really enjoyed it. I, I thought it was... Again, like going into it thinking this isn't going to work, yeah. and then it did, won me over, mm. and everyone won me over in that match yeah. as well. So I kind of I enjoyed that. And I don't, it doesn't always have to be the most technically spectacular match. As long as I enjoy it, that's what wrestling's about to me, and I enjoyed that. And you know what, to be, you know what's interesting to me, sir, so that match, there wasn't much, like, okay, there was spots, right? But there wasn't like big spots, if you know what I mean. There wasn't much people jumping it wasn't over. Yeah, it yeah. wasn't like. You know, there wasn't like big spot monkey, you know, spectacular moments. It was just more like, okay, these are the X Division dudes, but they yeah. can sort of wrestle too. Like, they can go. And they're progressive yeah. style. Like, yeah, yeah, they can go at it. Yeah, it was good. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Mm. It totally wasn't a spot monkey match. It was a wrestling match. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. Between like dudes That's that. That's why was... I liked it, because yeah. I like traditional wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> of course you I do. I grew up on traditional wrestling. Of course you do, you old prick. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that, man. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> So next up, we had Broken Matt Hardy with Brother Nero versus DCC or Chaos or whatever they're going to be called themselves. The three masked guys that look like Anonymous. I like to call them New Day, but whatever. Dude. Okay. Before I get to this, this has actually grown traction. (laughs) No, it's not fucking funny. So I saw a channel much bigger than us that had stolen this idea clearly from you because I'd never heard it before that saying that this is the new day. Dude made a 20 minute video <laughs> breaking shit down with arrows and stuff and circly shit and like this is clearly bigger. This is clear. One of those conspiracy videos. Uh, for real. Yeah. 20 fucking minutes of it. It's not the new day. Anybody that thinks 
that those three guys are contracted WWE talent needs to be taken out the back and put down like a lame fucking horse because that's what you are. <laughs> like, you have to be mentally handicapped to honestly think that. Like, it's uh... not anybody signed to WWE. Full fucking stop. I saw a really good, like, suggestion that it was James Storm, Bram, um, and a new guy, Jade's boyfriend, who I forget his name. It's Eddie something. Eddie Gilbert, possibly. I I do apologize. I knew this yesterday, but I slipped a disc in my back and I've been in extreme pain. The fact that I can remember James Storm and Bram's name is pretty fucking impressive <laughs> right now. Um, look at them. The size fits. There's a gangly dude. He very much looks like Bram. There's a big, heavy set dude. Very much looks like Storm. Third dude, don't know, could be that guy, could be Adam Rose, it could be a lot of people that are currently released. Don't say it. Anyway, so Broken... Hey, keep telling yourself that if you want to believe that, it's cool. But I still think it's New Day. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. Okay. You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. One more time. It's definitely New Day. It's Woo! It's not... <laughs> Hey guys, if I'm not here next week, please call the police. <laughs> 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 All right, so we had Broken Matt Hardy with Brother Nero versus DCC slash Chaos, whatever they're called. Yep. It started off as an attack angle mm -hmm. uh, where they did the Wyatt family slash Sting appear in the ring out of the darkness yep. and attack them behind from them. But that was a great moment though where they appeared behind them and Matt Hardy's like, what was it? Suited businessman. I, I knew, knew you'd come. come and turns around. Yeah, yeah. No, but they, they get playing. jumped. Yeah, yeah. So Jeff Hardy challenges like, don't go anywhere. We want to fight. Yeah, so, where are you going, you freaks? Yeah, let's make this a fight. So it starts off as a, a match that gets thrown out because the three of them are just jumping. Everyone. Yeah, yeah. It goes backstage. And you can't, you know, you can't keep hold of the match when you don't know who's in the ring when there's yeah. three masks, you know. You don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So... As soon as I went backstage, I leaned forward because I knew we were going to get another taped, yeah. broken mm, Matt Hardy, brilliance, brilliance yeah. whatever this was going to be. So it was like a backstage brawl thing where, again, like I've got a whole lot of stuff written down, but it just seems like words. <laughs> so we've got a forklift that chased a dude. Um, we've got... Brother Nero gets hit with the water of reincarnation. Yeah, the reincarnation of water comes back into... And becomes druggy Jeff Hardy, purple belt champion guy that had to drop out to Sting in eight seconds because he was so <laughs> fucked up sideways. Um, then gets hit Ugh, again and gets parties. turned back into the real charismatic yeah, enigma Nima, yeah. Jeff Hardy for the first time in a while. So that's awesome. Um... Matt Hardy pulls a mask off a guy and he's got another mask yeah. underneath. I'm like, you suck like a... Oh. And then um, gets knocked off a forklift and seems to have amnesia. Like, yeah. this is... We said that this was like a Spanish soap opera. Motherfucker, this is going Spanish soap opera. Like, the dude's got amnesia. <laughs> like, they're going to win Academy Awards just for... Sanit uh, yeah, like, in the Spanish soap opera scene. Like, yeah, yeah just because of all the freaking drama that's going oh, on. Oh, it's amazing, it's isn't it? brilliant. I love it. I love it. Absolutely brilliant. Um, next up, I had my favorite angle okay. of the night. Yes. Definitely. This would probably be my, my favorite angle too, if I know what you're talking yeah. about right now. EC3 calls out Eli Drake. And I actually tweeted this out to EC3 and he retweeted it. Um, I said, EC3 and Eli Drake plus a microphone equals magic happens. Um, and yeah, magic happens. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. Uh, it was really good. Uh, just them talking. I, I could watch a whole show of yeah. that. Like half of it when they were like when they were cutting these promos, half of it felt very shoot. If you you know what I mean. So like it was like it was improv. Yeah, it was, it was like improv. yeah, it wasn't like okay, these are your lines tonight, boys. Go out. It was like, hey, just go out there and get you know, to this point. Yeah, get and to this point. Off and they went. Yeah, like, literally off they went. And, Ooh, ooh, ooh. And like they didn't even touch each other. And no, it was, it was, and it was, there's so much heat. Yeah, there's so, so much heat. Even higher, but I was like, whoa. So EC3 challenges Eli Drake and says, put up your bound for gold and I'll put up that I'll never challenge you again yeah. for a title. I'll ever. be a mid carter I'll be a mid carter forever. Yeah. Which was, call me Ethan Mid Carter. The third, yeah. 
takes a cheap piss at himself. I love it. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, he cut a great promo. Then Eli Drake cut a great promo. Then yeah. he started walking away. And then he came back and he was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to next week. It's going to be Eli Drake. And everyone, shut up, dummies. Yeah. Facing the TNA champion. Yeah. I'm cashing in. <laughs> I actually like that. That was great. Yeah, that was awesome. Because I actually didn't expect that too, to they be honest. Because I thought was... he was falling for EC3 trap. I was yeah. like, oh, here we go. EC3's got the him over. The dumb heel's yeah. going to fall for it. Yeah, he's got him over with the mind games. But no, no. It was like, no. yeah, I'm no one he step the mind games yeah. in him. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah, it was like, oh, I'm coming close. I'm coming closer. Just to shut Judging you down. Yeah. Fuck you. It was... Hey, and I love both these wrestlers I too. Like, them. I don't know. Like, I don't have a hate for none. Like, usually when, you know, we go into these scenarios, I usually have one favorite. Yeah. But no, I love that both these wrestlers equally. So just to see that, that's amazing. Yeah. Dude, I, I'll see them wrestle. I'll see them talk. Yeah. I, I'll see them commentate on each other's <laughs> matches. I'll see them argue over dinner. <laughs> like, I would watch that and pay good money for it. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, I'd, yeah, guys. I'd say a buddy hey, comedy with yeah, them. Yeah, sitcom guys. If TNA's going down the drain, why don't you go on the Dude, sitcom? buddy cop comedy. Yeah, yeah, fucking over. Buddy, buddy cop comedy. EC3 is the like serious, been on the job for years. No, Eli Drake is a serious, been on the job for years. Hard as nails, detective. And EC3 is a new guy that's just rocked up. Yeah. Doesn't play by the rules yeah, and shit. But still gets like, yeah. gets a job done and yeah. shit in the a way. Eli Drake's like, you can't do that, yeah. dummy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can see that happening. Buddy cop. Buddy yeah. cop movie. <laughs> All right. I had another Eddie Edwards promo part of that. Yeah. yeah it, was, series. it was just continuing on. Which leads us to the main event, which Ooh. was the point of all of these promos. And that was Eddie Edwards versus Bobby Lashley. Yeah. The rematch. And JB hyped the shit out of it. <laughs> it's the rematch. It's like we'd been waiting rematch for Rematch two. Yeah. Like. And everyone's like, we've seen this match. Okay, if you're into it, JB, I'll get into it too. Oh, well, like, hey, you, this was actually my match of the night, sir. So this was a very, very good match. Yeah. Um, it's like, you know, we are bagging it out that we had did see this before. And it's like, why is this here again? But yeah. no, dude, these guys, you know, the rematch must, probably was even better than the first match, if anything. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I agree with you, dude, totally. This was actually a really, really good match. And it was one of those times that I went into it going, I don't care about seeing this. Yeah. And they won me over really quickly, and I was like, "All right, I'm, I'm, I'm interested." The only like two qualms I've got with this match, and one was Lashley throwing Eddie into the front row. Not, you know, the wrestler throws someone into the crowd. There's always like a little space that they throw them yeah, into. Yeah, they make sure the move people. No, just threw my people. Yeah, literally just threw them into a bunch of people. Yeah. Dude, That's actually the first time I've ever seen that my whole yeah, life. You're not on the Indies. You're not a PWG. <laughs> There's insurance at stake. Please don't do that. There's yeah. a reason that WCPW cut that shit out. Because the last time they did it, um, Joe Coffey actually knocked a dude out of his fucking mm, wheelchair. Okay, yeah. For real. The dude was in a wheelchair. <laughs> like, he's lucky he was in a wheelchair. No, Primate it yeah. was. Because if not, Primate probably would have put him in one. Like, don't do that stuff. Don't injure the crowd. Yeah, like yeah. they're there to enjoy the show. Like so, I don't. Like, like I get like that. you know bring the action to the crowd. Like that's cool. But throw him into the rail. Throw him into the rail or throw jump him. off. Yeah, jump off. Like you know you can still be kind of dangerous and yeah. still make it extreme. But don't or slam him into the cement in front of the yeah, rail. Yeah, don't yeah. throw him at people. Yeah, yeah. Like I get what you're doing, and I don't think maybe he overthrew him. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, because like yeah, I feel like he was trying to throw him into the you know the handrails. Or yeah, the maybe and, went too far. Yeah, went too far and just you know that's just a powerful dude, man. I don't think there was any malicious intent yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. I'm not like these dudes are li literally throwing people at people like yeah. fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> like no, I honestly don't think there was any malicious intent whatsoever. Yeah. But. Just be safe about this yeah. stuff. Like that's. I and look, TNA is actually pretty safe about this. Yeah, stuff. Like, they're, 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 yeah, yeah, they're not too bad. Like that, as I said, that was the first time I've ever actually yeah. seen that. Like, oh, don't get me wrong, that didn't take away from the how good the rest of the match was. Yeah. It's just something that I'm like, I don't like that stuff. Yeah. And I know some people don't mind it, and that's fine. It's just a personal thing. Like I don't like that. Like just don't do that. I don't mind. Like it. <laughs> I know you don't. Like, I'm just like, don't hurt. Pat. I'm 35. I'm like, if I was there and I'd pay for a front row seat. And Eddie Edwards kicked me in the face because Lashley threw him. Dude, I don't want to hurt someone. Like, No, I'm like, hey, cool. Ash Lashley just kicked yeah, me in the face. You awesome. take a photo yeah, of him. Yeah. You get him to sign the footprint. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the other thing that I just wanted to point out, and this is on the opposite end of the scale. This isn't a like, oh, that's, I don't like that. This is a like a human being fighting through something and proving oh. how 
how much, uh, to borrow a, a turn of phrase from Taz, is the intestinal fortitude that Eddie Edwards has, like, dude's clearly broke a rib mm. in that or match. Or done something to his rib. Like, you could tell straight away, he took a really bad bump from Lashley. It was about maybe five, ten minutes in. I don't not, know, even, no. not even. Maybe two minutes in. Yeah, like, it was outside the ring, literally. Uh, Lashley went for a suplex and he just caught the side. Yeah, yeah, not the back. It was really bad. It was on the outside of the ring, too. Like, And the cameraman cut, but they cut to the wrong camera mm. at the, well, actually, the wrong time because mm. you see him actually feeling his ribs yeah. like, oh, no, this isn't good. And you see yeah. that look on his like, face. Like, usually when they sell this, sort of just grab the, you know, midsection yeah. ribs. And it's like, oh, but no, you could see, like, Eddie was actually, he's actually touching. He's feeling yeah, he's feeling, different ribs. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh oh Yeah, he's like, oh, this doesn't feel like it's in the right place. Or yeah. Whatever. And then for the rest of the match, he was cradled, like, mm. and not, not overtly. Like, if you didn't know what you were seeing, you wouldn't notice. Like, this dude fought an amazing match. Yeah. Like, and brought up, but... When you know what you're seeing, so like there was a point where Lashley did a, a flat slam where he's going to land flat. Mm -hmm. You see him tuck his arm straight into his rib because he's like, I don't want to take that hit. Yeah. And it's like, dude, you don't do that because you could have popped your shoulder. Yeah, it would have hurt just as more. Yeah. Yeah. Like there was a, he could have popped his shoulder on that, but his rib was that bad. It was like, I'll take that risk yeah. and cover my rib up. Like, but yet still went through like that whole match, man. Like that dude is... And was and on point too, yeah. guys. Like literally, you. Uh, as I said, you if you tell. you were, if you didn't see the bump or the start of it, you honestly wouldn't have told. Oh, if the camera angle didn't and get if, him, and if the camera didn't catch him four other times yeah. in the match, literally checking grabbing his, his ribs. Yeah, like, yeah, you, put, you honestly not, wouldn't have known. Not grabbing, putting his hands yeah. in there and checking his individual ribs. Like that's not. You know something's wrong. Mm. And then, if you look at him, there's a point where he's standing up, and you could see on his right hand side he still had a waist, and on his left hand side he didn't because yeah. it had swollen up so bad already. Like, but, dude, you're amazing. Yeah. To fight through that. Like, when you have a rib injury, and I played sport, like, not at that level, clearly. I played rugby when I was a kid, mm. and I got a broken rib in one game. You can't breathe. Yeah, no. You, you can't move. The pain is so intense. I, I couldn't even imagine not getting taken off the field immediately at that point. All right? Like, and I did. So I was lucky, like, because I <laughs> just dropped. I couldn't get up. This dude went and wrestled another 15 <laughs> minutes, the crazy bastard. Like, you're, yeah, dude, the hands, hats off. Thank you, Eddie Edwards. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so, you, thank you both wrestlers. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And again, the match was really it good. Was spectacular. The only reason I didn't give a match of the night was only because going into a nine-man triple dance tag team match, I was like, this is gonna just blow up immediately. And it didn't at all. It was perfect the whole way. I'm like, I didn't expect that. That's why. Well, you I was actually going to say, I actually didn't like the ending of this match. Yeah. Yeah. So I was, I, not that I didn't like the ending. I just was a bit, bit confused on what was happening. If you know what I mean? Well, I'm like, not really confused. It was just more like, what, why did they go with this angle? I don't get it. With what? Like, you know, um, um, you know, Earl Hedna getting, um, hit, yeah, hit, yeah. and then, you know, no, coming back in and then not trying to call the match and then not calling it. And no, then, did, did I think that was like cover? You reckon? Yeah, I think there was some emergency covering happening there mm -hmm. because, like, I, I honestly think that match probably should have gone for, probably was booked to go a little bit more. Yeah. Not as far as like longer. I mean, more things were supposed to happen, yeah. and he just couldn't do it, dude. And so they've given the signal to Earl, mm -hmm. uh, to Brian. Brian's taken a like a weird bump out of nowhere. Yeah. For no, it was just bizarre. Like he shouldn't have taken a like there was nothing building up yeah. to that. It just happened, yeah. and you're like, wait, what? And then they did the ref swap, and he took it, because they had to cover it somehow. Like, the dude couldn't do the final spot. Mm. Um, and I bet you it was a big spot he was supposed to do to take the monster mm, Lashley yeah. down, but he just had to end it with a Boston Knee Party slash Shining mm. Wizard, which is still a cool, cool move. Yeah. And it was probably going to be the finish, but uh, there's something missing before that. Yeah, no, no, just something didn't feel right or in place. It's a cover, yeah. um, and uh, they did a great job of it. Mm. Yeah. So that was the episode of Impact. There was ups and downs and there was some bits were really like the, the backstage Hardy stuff was yeah. amazing. The Eddie Edwards Lashley match was really good. Yeah. The, you know, the triple threat tag team match was really good. But then there was just little things that let this show down. I think it just didn't feel right. Like something was off and like the Aaron Rex and um, Jesse got us. I think it's really just 
the I feel like you know the start of TNA is usually good. Yeah. Right? Like the opening matches for TNA usually keep you going. It's like okay, good. Now like this is what's gonna go throughout the whole show. Awesome. And this TNA, yeah, match, this was yeah, this was the open match for TNA. So that's why we thought like, oh, this is gonna be a shit show. Yeah. And, and then, it, but it didn't. It was like okay, yeah. this was the bad match at the start of the show, at the start of the night. Sorry. But then, you know, gradually it got better and better. Like, you know, we got to see the, you know, the tag team extravaganza, yeah. the, you know, the Matt Hardy, broken Matt Hardy, yeah. and, you know, DCC or whatever combination, you know, like. Yeah, all you're that, absolutely right. All that happened. And then, you know. But I think the tone was set from, as you said, from yeah. that beginning match. And I just felt flat throughout the show. And even to the end of it, it's like, I loved the, a lot of the segments in it, but it just felt flat. It, you know. Yeah, that's done this before. Kind yeah, of thing, and yeah. seen so much of this before as well. Like, even though it was a great match, I've seen Eddie Edwards and Lashley yeah. two fucking weeks ago. Like, mm. you know, as a, to quote King Ross from What Culture Wrestling, you know, new era, same old shit. Yeah. Like, we keep seeing the same stuff. <laughs> like, you know, we've seen all of these three Team X gold. Is, uh, is that what the whole division's called, or is uh, it just that team? I don't, I don't know. But we've seen all three of those teams in the past week. Like, is it new guys? No? Mm. Then do a couple of singles matches. I want to see the X Division. Mm. Like, I don't need to just always say, even though that was match of the night for me, like, just something felt wrong. Like, like the booking's wrong. No, Billy. That's what it was. Mm. That's what it was, dude. Billy was missing. Yep. And he's gone now, so. Yeah. All right, that's, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, hopefully next week we see some new stuff. I'm really looking forward to seeing where they're going with a few of these angles. Yeah. Uh, we've got the, you know, Matt Hardy tag team Apocalypto. Currently, I believe they start shooting next week again. Yeah. And that will be airing December 15th. Mm -hmm. So that's not too far away. Yeah. And some really cool stuff happening. I want to see the charismatic Enigma is back. Yes. I want Jeff Hardy. I want to see this whole, what this whole DCC thing is going to come, come out. Come um i actually want to see the whole eli drake and um ec3, EC3 yeah. unfolding it's gonna be awesome you so. know what i'd like to see with ec3 is he becomes a pest <laughs> like, so eli drake's trying to have his match yeah. and ec3's calling commentary distracting yeah. him like and he just becomes a thorn in eli yeah, drake's, drake's side yeah. until he gives him a shot at the title i can see that happening yeah and as bad as it sounds because i like eddie edwards as the the champion if Eli Drake doesn't win the title next week, Team X, uh, the Bound for Gold, means nothing. So he has to. Yeah, he has to win it. So I'm looking forward to that. So am I, so I can't wait. And that was it. Yeah, that's our show for tonight. I've got nothing left. What about you? Yeah, I'm pretty much set. All right, so thank you so much for listening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We'll be back next week because we do know that there are episodes until yeah, at least yeah, yeah. December 15th. You've got us for until the end of the year, guys. We're, we're sweet. And if Impact goes away, we'll switch brands to something else. <laughs> <laughs> Sell out. <laughs> not really, because we don't get paid, but yeah, whatever. Not at all. Yeah. All right, so we'll see you all next week. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe this. Let all your friends know the Impact recap is here. Adventure. Excitement. A stooge craves not these things. Welcome to the stooge revolution. Good night, Internet. <laughs>